Artaxerxes I, also known as Artaxerxes Longimanus, was the fifth king of the Achaemenid Empire, succeeding his father, Xerxes I, in 465 BC. He ruled from 465 BC to 424 BC, and his reign was marked by both successes and challenges. Welcome to Royalty Stories Channel. One of his notable achievements was his successful suppression of revolts that broke out in various parts of the empire, including in Egypt, Babylon, and Lydia. He also worked towards strengthening the infrastructure of the empire and implementing reforms in the Persian administration, judiciary, and military. During his reign, Artaxerxes also had to deal with external threats, particularly from the Greeks. He successfully defeated a major invasion by the Athenians in 450 BC, which helped him establish himself as a powerful ruler in the eyes of his subjects. Artaxerxes is perhaps most well known for his support of the rebuilding of the Jewish temple in Jerusalem, which had been destroyed by the Babylonians. He granted the Jews permission to return to Jerusalem and provided them with financial assistance for the rebuilding effort. Artaxerxes's reign was marked by relative stability and prosperity, particularly in comparison to the tumultuous reigns of his predecessors. While he faced numerous challenges, he succeeded in maintaining the empire and strengthening its position in the region. During his reign, Artaxerxes I had to deal with a number of revolts that broke out in various parts of the Achaemenid Empire. One of the most notable was the Egyptian Revolt, which began in 460 BC and was led by a prince named Inaros. The Egyptians were supported by the Athenians, who sent a fleet to help them. Artaxerxes responded to the revolt by sending a large army under the command of his brother, Achaemenus. The Persian army was initially defeated by the Egyptians, but Artaxerxes did not give up. He sent a second army commanded by Megabyzus, which was victorious. Megabyzus was able to retake Memphis, the Egyptian capital, and capture Inaros. Artaxerxes also had to deal with a revolt in Babylon, which began in 482 BC under the leadership of a priest named Bel Shimani. The Babylonian rebellion was also linked to a revolt in other parts of the empire, including Susiana and Persis. Artaxerxes responded to the rebellion by sending an army under the command of Shamash Ariba, who was able to crush the rebellion and capture Bel Shimani. Artaxerxes also implemented reforms in the Persian administration and judiciary system, which helped prevent future revolts. In Lydia, a rebellion was led by Pisithnes, who was the governor of the region. Artaxerxes sent an army under the command of Tissaphernes, who was able to crush the rebellion and capture Pisithnes. Tissaphernes was then appointed as the governor of Lydia, which helped to prevent further uprisings. Overall, Artaxerxes's success in suppressing revolts was due to a combination of factors, including his military strength, his ability to appoint effective commanders, his willingness to implement reforms, and his strategic thinking in dealing with the rebellions. These achievements helped to maintain the stability and unity of the empire during his reign. Artaxerxes I fought several battles during his reign as king of the Achaemenid Empire. Some of the notable battles of his reign are The Battle of Paprimus, 456 BC this battle was fought between the Persians and a coalition of Egyptian rebels, led by the general Inaros. Artaxerxes sent a large army, led by his brother Achaemenus, to suppress the rebellion. However, the Persians were initially defeated, and Achaemenus was killed. Artaxerxes sent a second army, led by Megabyzus, which was able to recapture Memphis, the Egyptian capital. The Battle of Eurymedon, 466 BC. This battle was fought between the Persians and a combined Greek fleet, 
led by the Athenians and the Spartans. The Persians were defeated in this battle, but it did not have a significant impact on the empire. The Battle of the Erythraean Sea, circa 455 BC. This was a naval battle fought between the Persians and a fleet from Athens. The Persians were able to repel the Athenians and maintain control of their naval territories. Overall, Artaxerxes's battles were marked by mixed success. He was able to suppress several revolts and maintain the stability of the empire, but he also faced significant challenges from external threats. However, his military leadership and political strategies played an important role in ensuring the strength of the Persian Empire during his reign. During his reign, Artaxerxes I undertook several measures to strengthen the Persian Empire and ensure its stability. One of his key achievements was in strengthening the administration of the empire. He appointed able administrators who were tasked with overseeing the running of each region of the empire. This helped to improve governance and ensure that the needs of each province were being met. Artaxerxes also instituted reforms in the judiciary system, which helped to ensure that justice was being served and prevented corruption. Additionally, he worked to promote religious harmony and tolerance throughout the empire, which helped to unite the diverse populations of Persia. In terms of military strategy, Artaxerxes was a skilled commander and was able to successfully suppress several rebellions that had broken out in different parts of the empire. He also reorganized the army into a more efficient and effective fighting force, which helped to repel external threats and maintain the safety of the empire. Artaxerxes also focused on improving infrastructure throughout the empire. He constructed roads, bridges, and other transportation systems that facilitated trade and commerce. This helped to boost the economy and promote stability within the empire. Artaxerxes I was a notable builder during his reign as king of the Achaemenid Empire. Here are some of the most significant buildings and structures associated with him. The Palace of Artaxerxes in Susa. This was a grand palace constructed by Artaxerxes in the city of Susa, which served as one of the capital cities of the Achaemenid Empire. The palace was renowned for its ornate decorations, including intricate carvings and beautiful murals. The Palace of Darius in Persepolis. Persepolis was another major capital city of the Achaemenid Empire, and Artaxerxes continued the tradition of constructing grand palaces in this city. He reconstructed or expanded upon the palace that had been built by his predecessor, Darius I, in a grand style that reflected his own taste. Royal Road. Artaxerxes was responsible for the construction of the Royal Road, a vast network of roads that spanned the empire, connecting the cities and regions of Persia. The road was vital for trade and commerce, and it helped to facilitate communication and the movement of people and resources throughout the empire. Apadana Palace at Susa. This was another palace constructed by Artaxerxes in Susa. It was the largest palace in the city, and it was used for holding meetings with officials and conducting other important government business. The palace was also renowned for its elaborate decorations, including beautiful murals and impressive carvings. The Tomb of Cyrus the Great Although the tomb had already been constructed during the reign of Cyrus the Great, Artaxerxes expanded upon the site and added several new structures, including a grand entryway, a large portico, and an ornate treasury. He also added gardens and artificial lakes, transforming the site into a beautiful and impressive mausoleum. Artaxerxes I had a significant influence on Greek history during his reign as the king of the Achaemenid Empire. He fought against a combined fleet of Greeks from Athens and Sparta in the Battle of Eurymedon in 466 BCE. The War Against Sparta In the Peloponnesian War between Athens and Sparta, 
Artaxerxes I supported Sparta against Athens, providing financial and military aid to the Spartan cause. His support helped to prolong the war, which lasted for nearly three decades. The Role in Greek Politics Artaxerxes I was involved in the politics of the Greek city-states, intervening in their affairs and supporting various factions. He supported the pro-Spartan politicians in Athens, for example, and also provided support to the uprising of the rebellious city of Barca in Libya. The support of mercenaries. Artaxerxes I also hired Greek mercenaries to fight for him during his reign. These mercenaries were a significant factor in several of the battles and conflicts in which he was involved and served as important allies to the Persian military. Artaxerxes I, like other Persian kings, was a follower of the Zoroastrian religion, which was the predominant faith in the Achaemenid Empire. Zoroastrianism was a monotheistic faith that emphasized the worship of Ahura Mazda, the god of light and goodness, and saw the universe as a constant struggle between good and evil. As a follower of Zoroastrianism, Artaxerxes I was responsible for promoting and maintaining the faith in the empire. He is known to have patronized the construction of several Zoroastrian temples and to have given generous donations to the priests and religious institutions associated with the faith. However, despite his adherence to Zoroastrianism, Artaxerxes I was also known for being tolerant of other religions. He supported the rebuilding of the Jewish temple in Jerusalem and is known to have allowed other religious groups to practice their faiths freely within the empire. Artaxerxes I was also involved in several religious events and rituals, including regular sacrifices to the gods and participation in Zoroastrian festivals. He conducted these rites and rituals publicly, often in the presence of his courtiers and other members of Persian society. The details of Artaxerxes I's death are not entirely clear, and historians have debated the circumstances surrounding his passing. However, it is generally believed that he died in 424 BCE after a long and successful reign as king of the Achaemenid Empire. One of the most popular accounts of Artaxerxes I's death is that he was assassinated by his own chancellor, a man named Heraclides. According to this account, Heraclides had become envious of Artaxerxes' power and decided to plot against him. He reportedly poisoned the king and then tried to cover up the crime. However, this account is not fully supported by historical evidence, and it is possible that Artaxerxes I died of natural causes. Other accounts suggest that he may have died during a military campaign or as a result of illness or old age. Regardless of the exact circumstances of his death, Artaxerxes I's reign as king of the Achaemenid Empire was a significant one, marked by victories in battle, the suppression of rebellions, and the construction of grand buildings and temples. His legacy continues to be celebrated today in Persia and beyond, as a testament to the power and influence of the ancient Persian Empire. Thank you for watching this episode please help us and support the Royalty Stories channel by giving a like and subscribing to our channel.